Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you have not seen my uh, football manager videos that came out uh, recently, uh, I am back. Uh, if you are also not aware, I did have some computer problems, uh, which you can see in some videos that I uploaded from my phone. So poor quality, but it is what it is. So uh, anyway, football manager's back. I'm going to start doing Graveyard Keeper, which will be a new save on the channel and we have the breaking dead and stranger sins uh, DLC so let's get into it we're gonna start a new game and I will probably have to play some of this game off camera just to progress but we'll walk through the beginning here because I can't skip it so basically you've gone to the store obviously you're buying something for your child or your baby and they say don't text and drive but maybe you shouldn't walk across the street and text either but i blame that one on the wife or girlfriend <laughs> and here we are talking to the grim reaper or somebody and a whole new chapter awaits us we want to go home and we picked up a new task you saw. And this guy's just arbitrarily assigned us to live in a graveyard. And we are a graveyard keeper. So even if you retire in the real world, you have a job in the afterlife. Dig up Jerry. He'll help you sort everything out. All right. So here we are. We're in our, this little house. And we need to find Jerry, and we picked up a new task. And there is no quest log. Uh, what you have is under, if you hit the tab button, you have these four tabs. Under the known NPCs, it, it will tell you what tasks you have to accomplish. So that should be helpful. Uh, if you're trying to figure it out, we have a couple of storage bins in here, a prep table, a, uh, a hearth. Uh, we've got a cellar that we cannot get into yet, and we hit E to exit the house. And here is our local area. So you can see we have some, some bushes, some swampy area. We have rocks, a well, uh, storage facilities, building another storage. And we'll look at all that as we go. But right now, here in the early going, the first few things, it does give you arrows on where to go and what to do. So we're going to walk over here and we're going to hit F. We have to hold it. If I let go, it stops working. Now you see the plus minus one. That's your energy levels that will go down. Why would you think I'm Jerry? All right, so we've completed a task. Now, there are no levels in this game. It's not leveling up, uh, but there is combat to some extent. It's not, you know, it's mostly a, a building and a hunter-gatherer game. You go and gather things. Oh, we just heard a bell. That will come, become a familiar sound. So let's go check out the sound, Jerry tells us. All right, he could be dangerous. I'm going to wait here. All right, so there is a donkey, and it is hauling some cargo. And he tells me he's got a fresh corpse from the town. Well, I am the graveyard keeper, so that makes sense. A talking donkey. This is funny. Who are you? I'm cheap labor. This cart isn't mine, so I work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. And I only earn five carrots a day. You know where I'm coming from, right? Com so we have a communist donkey. All right. So you see it has a percentage above it. 
That'll make sense. That's the health of it. And Jerry says, grab that juicy corpse. And it's gone down to 99. And this is the only time in the tutorial use E to pick up and drop large items. So we'll pick it up. We'll head over here. We'll enter. So this is our workplace. Slice some flesh. All right. And I guess Sard is the uh, equivalent of vulgar language in uh, the game. Trade the meat. All right, so we have a task. All right, let's look at the task again. All right, so we need to get back home. I need to get a beer from the tavern for Jerry. And the donkey, nothing pending currently. All right, so we're going to put the corpse down, and we're going to hit E to autopsy it. So this is important. You notice that right now the body has one red skull and two white skulls with a green background. Green is decay, where and they will actually turn green if they sit too long. Green is really bad. White skulls is what you want. Now, we will unlock some perks later on that we can take away red skulls. I just wanted to make sure I was centered in the camera. And uh, so, but we don't have that yet. And then other perks will take away white skulls and add red skulls. So we're going to extract the flesh and it tells us that we have to do the work. Like digging up Jerry, we have to hold the F key. All right. So unlocking that or cutting the meat we've opened up a few recipes but we do think it's disgusting jerry says we'll get used to it and let's bury the corpse all right so he's gone so if we look at our inventory we do that's i we do have some flesh and tab closes it and you see one of the white skulls went away so now we have one red and one white and that'll make sense here in just a minute. So we're going to pick that up. We have a mist coming in, but this is not uh, mist survival. We don't have to worry about that. All right, we're going to talk to Jerry. All right, so use the blueprint desk. So we'll use the blueprint desks in every area to build and develop things. So we place the graveyard. We dig it up. Then we place the body, bury it, and then we can decorate it. And that'll make some sense in just a minute. All right, so build a grave site. And let's build that one. You know what? I'm going to build it right here. We're going to walk over there. And I have to put it down. And you notice it's decayed to 93. Every time it's on the ground or time, it will decay. If you leave it on the table in the morgue, it doesn't decay as fast. All right, so the corpse gave it a plus one. Because of the one white skull, if you had three white skulls, it would be a plus three. All right, so we got a burial certificate. All right, we've got the bishop coming to pay us a visit. We'll have to ask him, and Jerry's going to go wait for the beer, and he walks. So here, here's where you have to kind of start paying attention. There is no time limit in the game, right? There are only certain days of the week when certain events will happen, and the days haven't shown up yet because the timer has not started, all right? But we are going to come over here. And we will talk to the bishop. The new keeper. We've been expecting him for 30 years. But he pretends nothing is wrong. Your graveyard is a mess. I can't promote you to cleric until you fix it. All right. So when we're in an area, it will give us the location, uh, the quality. And then you can see here 
a, a dirty grave will, be, will it could have up to a negative two. And if you just tidy it up, it can move to a plus one. Now we've gotten the ability to create wooden markers. So we have to get the graveyard to quality of five and he will promote us. All right. And I will come, I will come again every Sunday or whatever day you want to. I'm just here to represent. All right, so when you bury a body, bury it or cremate it. Throwing it in the river doesn't count. You get a burial certificate, and we can trade that in for money. And money at the beginning is hard to come by. So we'll want to bury a lot of bodies. All right, so let's just find out. All right, about the town. The town is the heart of our land. But evidently, we have to get some better clothes to unlock it. Head south from the tavern. And where's the village? No more questions. Uh, how can I fix the graveyard? Repair the graves. All right, we already had that. And leave. All right, so to craft new items, we have to unlock certain things. So you earn red points by doing things with your hands, crafting things. Anything you do with nature, you get green points. And once we unlock the church, we will be able to study things, and that will get us blue points. But just doing what he's asked us to do, we can now gather stone rock, and we've got a blueprint for a stockpile. We can also gather sticks, chop down trees, small trees, and build a timber stockpile. So here is our, you can say, see up here the days of the week. So it's Sunday, Hammer Day, Quake Day, Scarab Day, I don't know, Moon Day, and then back to Sunday. So every day something will happen. And I need to find, because I had started making notes, and there it is. All right, so... We'll figure that out as we go, but you can see we've unlocked this concept of wood just now and stone for free, but it'll take five red and two greens to unlock sawing abilities, and we'll have to unlock all of these things, and the farther up you get, the more they cost, and they do start taking blues. Don't worry about it. The points will come fast. All right. Um, I'm not going to worry about this right now. But you can now see we have a negative 29 graveyard. All right. I'm not ready to quite mess with this yet. Oh, you know what? I do need to grab the tools here. All right. Now, these are rusty. So they have 70% durability. And we'll eventually want to make some new ones. Oh. Oh. I want to show you a, a trick. Supposedly, all right, so we're going to hit F, and then I'm going to, as soon as I hit the F to start, I'm going to hold the F key, and then I'm going to open the, hit the tab to open the menu. And then we're going to listen for four pickaxes, okay? One, two, three, four. Hit tab, and then you see, even though the red bar was just barely started, it finished on the next hit. So what that does is you don't take durability damage to your item, the pickaxe, the shovel, and it also doesn't take your energy so you can do more work. All right, and how much stone do we have? I've got five. All right, that gives us six. There's a reason I wanted six. So there's another work, work area. We can't unlock that yet. I want to make a run in here just to save us some time. Two birds with one stone, that kind of thing, right? All right, so we're going to look at this. Property and forfeiture. Contact Horadric, the tavern owner. All right, so we've got that. So we're going to come down to the road, and we are going to make our way east to the village, right? 
Oh, I do want to read the sign, Witch Hill. All right, and he comes on, that's the circle or the square with the upward pointing arrow. So that is this day right here. All right, so that's the day the Inquisitor comes. Now you can go about two days without sleep, without getting a tired debuff, but you will need to uh, make some food to get it through two days. Just something to think about. All right, so we want to come here. This is the Dead Horse Tavern, and we're going to enter. All right, we're going to come up, and there's a few people to talk to. All right, there's Horadric. All right, they're happy to have me here. When are you planning to open the church? All right, so first off, I want to ask him about the burial certificate. I have to trade it for money if I have money. Evidently, they're in a recession. But pilgrims will bring lots of coins. Okay, ask about the garden. All right, so we've unlocked a new blueprint for a gar flower bed. But we still need to talk to the merchant to get permission. Fair enough. New task. And he comes every, is that Quake Day? I think that's Quake Day. All right. Um, how can I get a town pass? The Inquisitor, we just learned about him a minute ago at Witch Hill. He can give us one or we can buy it. Mrs. Charm. All right. They like meat. It needs a royal meat stamp. Strange. There was a evidently an accident with inappropriate meat. So it needs a royal stamp. Uh, I don't have a stamp. I don't want to know where you can get unauthorized meat. I agree with you, good sir. You don't want to know where I get it. So where can I get it? All right, we can buy one from the church. Or there's a guy called Snake with a fake one. All right, and Mrs. Charm comes on. Uh, this is the circle with the, de this is the female uh, logo there. So, all right. So we're going to leave. Uh, I want to take this to the blacksmith. All right. We're not going to talk to her just yet. She's, that's the wife. She sells um, recipes, higher end recipes. They start off at about five silver. So we are not at a place to, all right, she doesn't like eating meat. She's a vegetarian. All right, so what the reason I got those six rocks was to come to Corey. So I can, he deals with rocks, his brother Tress, who is to the west, right about in line with him. And if you shift click, if you only hit click, then you have to choose, right? If you shift click, it moves the whole stack or actually all the similar items. So we're going to sell this for one silver and 22 copper. All right. So we're good there. And, you know, don't be afraid to, to pick up stuff. All right. I want to come across... I think, I don't know if all these people stay outside. All right, we're going to talk to this guy. And I want to get about 16 peat. Okay, this is, a, this is a fertilizer. So it'll cost 32 copper. That's why I wanted to sell the rock. And then here's uh, the brother that deals in wood. 
So we could have got some sticks too, but the rock sells for more, I believe. All right, so we're done there. And we are going to make our way down to the blacksmith. So there is the inn. I'm a guard in the dark. All right, the blacksmith is outside. All right, who are you? All right, give you the letter. Giving him the letter just gained us 10 friendship points. All right, so he's giving me a rusty sword and a whetstone. All right, and two energy potions. All right, so we hit the space bar to fight. Press space to attack. All right, I can now that I have 10 friendship, it opens up new dialogue. So where can I find some metal ore? In the swamp, across the river. All right, now we could build a furnace. Very important. All right, so let's do that. We're going to come here and craft. So we hit E to open this up. We're going to left click. And then left click on the sword. It automatically loads the whetstone if you have one. And we're going to get to work. Now there's no physical action here. So there's you can't use that little tip. Now the sword is automatically equipped. All right. We just killed those two guys. But it did take some energy. All right. We're going to de we defeated the slimes. All right, so he gives me the whetstone back, and we've learned two new recipes. Um, I think these are, okay, I don't want that yet. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to come back and see him. I forgot to sell something, which is okay, but I, I got money from him, and that was to buy something else. Oh, there's Mrs. Charm, by the way. All right, so now we've helped him. There's the beer for Jerry, right? Um, I want to trade. And there is our burial certificate. All right, and I want to buy a teleportation stone. So the net cost is 50, 50 copper. So we did that. All right, and in my inventory, now I have a teleport stone. And let's... All right, so let's go ahead and talk to her. We were told to talk to her. All right, what do you want? No time for you, little man. Oh, bummer. Typical hottie, huh? Doesn't have time for the plain guys. That's how it goes, you know? The the Burbage will per, uh, progress on itself, but you can left-click to bypass it or bypass through it. So I will be doing that. If you want to read it all, pause it real quick, check it out. All right, so... Where can I find pen and ink? All right, you can get some from the old astrologer. He goes to the lighthouse every moon day. And they had a fight. He, tur he told me the earth is round. Well, it is round. So he's a flat earther. Good. And ask about the lighthouse east of the village. So what I want to do while I am out here. So I've got the teleport stone. That's important because that will allow us to move quicker. I want to see. I don't think I have enough money to buy what I wanted. 
Uh, oh, oh, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. All right. We got the sword, right? So we want to walk around the village. And there are three or four of these. You see these brown barrels, the plain ones? We could break those up. We just got some flitch and metal scraps. Now, metal scraps don't do us a ton of good right now, but, you know, they don't hurt us. Now, you can't break them all. All right, we got scrap, flitch, and nails. And there will be a secret passage here at some point. All right. Trying to remember... I don't think they had one up here, but we are going to check. Nope, not there. Now, these, these stumps, you can dig those up with your shovel, but those create logs, and you have to, uh, you have to carry those back. So, you know, you may want to do that closer to your house, but I did find out that you can, in fact... All right, we got some flitch there. I think this is one that we couldn't do, yeah. And you can see we're getting tired. And I don't have any food made, so we may run out of energy. All right, and there's also two barrels. More scrap and flitch. All right, while we're on this side of the... Of the uh, zones we're going to come out this way and this will make sense later oh let's check out the magnifying glass so there are eggs and that opens up a couple of uh recipes and there we can buy feathers and eggs if we need them or want them at some point all right and this is dig peace herbs and sweet things Bring me some honey and I'll teach you how to make a cake. So cake is important. Okay, and also, uh, he sells hemp seeds and he sells oil. I'm going to go ahead and buy one oil because I'm going to need that later. And I have the money to afford it right now. And we will gather honey down the road. Okay, while I am here, no, I want to dig these up. And there's three of them. That one there. That one there. All right. And you can only carry one log at a time. So, but... We are going to do something here in a minute. All right. I want to just come up and find the lighthouse. So here's where the astrologer will be. I don't know much about fishing. Just grill it. Pop fish sticks. All right. That opens up some recipes. All right, all I need is a rod. All right, so bring some moths. You catch them at night. All right, and you can buy a nicer, a simple rod, but we're not going to do that right now. So what I'm going to do, we're almost out of energy. I'm going to grab one of these logs, yeah? Then we're going to open our inventory right click on the teleport stone and hit use now because i came to the lighthouse it's been added so once you go somewhere it gets added in so we can go to our house the lighthouse or the dead horse which is the tavern so we want to go home all right and i am going to put look at that all right so that's for stones that's for logs and this is a blueprint desk. So we'll deal with that. It's almost nighttime on the second night. So 
again, there's no time limits. You know, really the only timer is on the corpse when it gets dropped off. And there's even some ways to mitigate that. So let's see. I want, I'm going to put the filch out here. Uh, let's cancel that. I want to put all, shift. All right. I want to put the metal scrap, nails, and iron parts. I'm going to put the oil in there. And I'm going to keep the flowers. The red flowers we can plant at the graveyard. Oh, you know what? You don't lose any energy walking. So let's head over here and examine. We're going to claim the property. And as you can see, we can now build empty garden beds. Now, we have to build these and we have to get some seeds. But we can go ahead and lay down the blueprints. No big deal. So we're going to just do one section right now, and that's all I'm going to worry about. So we're going to call it a night. Uh, let's see, my timer went off, and it's about time to call it an episode as well. So the last bit of advice for you before we leave, when you go to sleep, when you wake up, you can hit E to interrupt your sleep, but if you go to sleep... All right, so, sorry I had to interrupt the recording there, but you can hit E to wake it to interrupt your sleep, wake up at whatever time. If you go to sleep right between where it turns dark, depending on how tired you are, you'll wake up right about daybreak, and that way you have the whole day that you can work out. We'll pick up here next episode, guys, so don't go anywhere. Come back. If you like what you're seeing, make sure you hit the like button. And let me know you want to see more down in the comments below. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.